Masks will be part of the uniform for students all across the Bay Area this semester, but as kids head back to school in Hillsborough County, some students with certain medical conditions can get a mask exemption. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell shares one parent's story and why the waiver helps kids at risk from falling through the cracks. He's been out of school since March and he's regressed tons. Barbara Cardwell's soon to be second grader will be back in class in a matter of days. He has sensory processing disorder and receives therapies through his school in Hillsborough County. Some of these kids need the one on one hand over hand kind of instruction that you can't get via Zoom. New paperwork is out for students with certain conditions. Hillsborough County Schools released their mask medical exemption form. If a student has a medical, physical or psychological condition preventing them from wearing a mask, their parent will need to fill it out and attach certification from a doctor with the medical reason for the waiver. Masks are otherwise required. ABC Action News spoke one on one with Superintendent Addison Davis today. For students that maybe uh, you know have have hard of hearing, or maybe you know students that are that are that have hearing impediments, they need to be able to see you know maybe an instructor's uh, you know face and mouth to be able to identify language uh, to look at uh, you know signals. Some question if a student can't wear a mask, why they should be in school face to face at all. But Cardwell explains therapies are critical, and it's not that easy. It physically will hurt him to have certain clothing on. Um, that's just going to mess up the entire school day for them. <laughs> I mean, they're going to have increased behaviors. They're not going to be able to concentrate. The district will review the forms case by case. This mom says they're first going to try and see if her son can wear a mask in school. But she says kids who can't shouldn't be excluded. And this form could help get them through a new normal. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.